Hello again, everyone. This is the inspector back with you for another shave. I know it's been a while, but um, been did a video for Razor Company, and so I'm back again uh, with some new products and stuff. So uh, a lot of stuff to go over. Um, let's see, where should we start? Oh, we'll start with uh, the the cream. We're going to be using a cream. This is the half, the other half of my sample. I used the one just the other day. I think it was yesterday, maybe. Uh, Tom's, Taylor Volbon Street, uh, Eaton College, which is a great light citrusy scent. Excellent. I like Tom's scents. They're really great. Most of them, I just, even their sandalwood, and I'm not a sandalwood fan, but I, I do like their sandalwood scent. So... Uh, very easy to lather, very excellent quality. Can't go wrong if you're a first time guy looking to get a cream tobs is the, really the sort of where you have to start, I think, uh, as a good place. Okay, there's others too, but you can't go wrong with tobs for ease of lathering and quality. It's just amazing. I had that in, uh, in a bowl here. This happens to be I just got this out of my cupboard. It's like a microwave um, where you make cakes, I think. But anyhow, samples in there <coughs> as he swirls. Pretty heavy uh, plastic. Um, so what's the point? Um, I just happened to go through my cupboard and I saw this uh, excellent lathering bowl. You don't have to spend tons of money. I have a lot of lathering bowls, guys, a lot. Oh, over a dozen to uh, to find something you know you can take this traveling with you um like i said it, it's very heavy duty unbreakable i think it'll do a good job so we'll see how that goes but yeah for our brush i think because i have so many um is uh, my best badger uh with the metal handle nice not there it's uh, i think i got this from above the tie when they were going out i think they had a, a best badger brush i think this is it uh, don't quote me on it but it's a lovely brush that's soaking two band badger um pre-shave we're going to be using parasso blue great stuff love the blue parasso uh of course we're going to finish up with the thayers coconut water after the shower enlightenment by PAA um, a aka Irish Springs and we're going PAA Irish Springs bomb after that okay so that's it and the razor we're going to be use a Fatip from Italy this is the special edition um, and here it is it's a this is the piccolo uh, base plate okay I got this off the BST nice short handle this is the Gentile plate which is uh, a mild plate like your Gillette Tech that's what I equate that to but we're going to be using the open comb and you can see uh, that's the blade exposure there I expect this to be a pretty mild shave don't forget just because it's open comb, that doesn't mean it's aggressive, okay? Uh, it could be efficient, and I expect it to be, but not aggressive. So we'll see how that works. So we cleaned out our face real well. Wet it again, put the pre-shave on, do the lather, do the shave, and talk. you need to with a couple of drops of water you can always thin it out um, this is the moisture on my face was fine so I'm not gonna do any of that today but I'm gonna work it in 
give a nice layer of protection on my face. All right. Gotta rinse your hands. Put the cap back on for next time. All right. I'm gonna take a brush. Get wring it out. Shake it. Damp brush. We'll work this into a paste. Okay, here we go. Citrus scent, citrusy scent is coming out. Very nice, very nice. Add more water. Mix it in. It's doing an awesome job, this little microwave bowl, I think it is here. Just big enough, you know, has the swirls which create lather on the bottom. All right, so here we go. Plenty in the bowl here, plenty in the brush. Let's apply. Yeah, nice. This brush I only used a couple of times, but so soft, so soft. And it releases the lather, guys. That's a key to, one of the keys to a really good badger brush is will it release the lather on your face really well. And this one certainly fits that bill. Okay. Very nice. I forgot how much I paid for this. Uh, it was a closeout, so probably was like 30, 35 bucks, I think. I think I paid for it, something like that. All right. So, that's our hands. We'll take our, our razor. It has lining over here, so there's some knurling on it. And heat that up. Okay, start first pass. Nice. Very smooth. Not aggressive at all. I didn't suspect it. Um, if if that blade, okay, you see where that exposure is. If that's coming above, you don't have much plate showing. You know that comb. You know it's going to be a lot more aggressive. But <coughs> this is not that. By the way, I have a uh, Derby used to blade in here which I like very much. Some of you say Derby, huh? Well, this is my favorite Derby blade. I think this is the best out of them all. Usta, U-S-T-A. I think it means master barber or something like that. Turkish, but. Okay, I think I got the blades off a Razor Blades Club, I think. They're not as easy to find as the regular Derby, but Google it, it'll come up. Okay, Razor Blades Club, I think still has that. Hmm. Just shaved yesterday, but I want to get a shave in today. Do a video, I know, it's been a while. And, uh, yeah, there's some blade feel here, but it's not extreme, okay? Not extreme. Very comfortable, I think. Reminds me of the Goodfellas, uh, the feel of this one. The Goodfellas open comb razors, which are excellent. Same feel. Of course, the handle's different and all that, but. Yeah. And just because it's an open comb, guys, don't say, you know, it's. Uh, it doesn't mean it's going to be ultra aggressive at all. On its own merit, everything. Okay? So we're going to. 
do this upper lip here. All right, turn it over. Go lightly here. All right, we'll come across. Go. It's our first pass. A little deeper there, no problem. All right. Nice. Okay. Second pass. Wow. Yeah. Nice pick up this brush. People say, what's your favorite brush? Mm -hmm. There's so many. Uh, I like Boar Badger. A synthetic, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm particularly picky about my, um, my Badgers because they're tightly packed. It's really tightly packed, too tightly packed. And with the shirt loft, I find that those type of badger brushes don't release the lather as well as they should. Um, that's why I don't have any Simpson chubby twos or anything like that. Um, aside from the fact that they're way overpriced for my liking, you know, but that's just me. Okay. I don't think you have to pay a lot for a brush to get really good quality. All right. It's just, that's the way I see brushes. All right. A nice citrusy, slick lather going on here. All right. And, uh, okay, we'll go against the green. A second pass. Nice. Yeah. Very nice slick cream. Right? Got it easy underneath here. Less sensitive. This doesn't feel just a tiny bit more aggressive than the Gentile plate, but you can get this razor in most places for about 32 bucks. New, brand new. Okay. Yeah, nice. Here. I gotta get across here because it grows differently. And that's sideways here against the grain. All right. Very nice. All right. Go against the grain here. Buff. That lighter touch up here. It's a little bit more sensitive, so.
here. Very nice. This blade is sharp enough, guys. Definitely. I think it, to me, it feels the sharpest out of the derbies that I've tried. Definitely sharper, I think, than the green. But. Okay. More leather. We have it. Might as well use it. Nice citrusy. Okay. Oh. Uh, itch. Wow. Okay. Uh. Uh. I'm battling a little cold here upper respiratory infection going on so just trying to knock that out in short order hopefully all right very nice other side we're gonna go lightly here on this side very after about seven weeks or so it, it's still healing so Kind of skirt around. All right. Here we go. Grits. Okay, we'll bring in the Thayer's Coconut Mist. Mm. For any shave, this is it at the end. As a minimum, there's. I could tell it's a little tingly here. That means I got extra close. Okay, so, but it's doing its job. I'm gonna put aftershave after the shower and that bomb to calm it down even more and we should be great. Okay. Uh, like I said, Parasso pre-shave. Um, my best batter brush with my him ad lib microwave uh, lather bowl here, I guess you can call it. Worked well. Okay, it's small, but enough to lather really well with the swirls on the bottom. So, uh, you don't have to spend money if you don't want to, okay? And we went with the uh, Fatip Special Edition with the Piccolo um, plate, open comb, 
pretty mild with the use of the blade first use. And uh, yeah, it's a nice shave, really. I mean, no complaints. So, hey, that's it, guys, for Saturday. Uh, was it the 18th of May? Looking forward to start of summer next week with Memorial Day. I will be back, hopefully, with another shave by then. Maybe sometime another one during the week. I do promise to, uh, within the next couple of weeks, start uh, throwing in some shavette shaves here. Because I got a lot of stuff that <coughs> I haven't used yet. You know, some I have, but... Um, yeah, just getting back into that a uh, little while after not doing one for about a year and a half or so. But... Anyhow, guys, thanks for joining me. This is the Inspector Dave Fernicola, and we will see you real soon. Thank you.